Yo, yo, what's up? This is your boy AJ kicking again live here in the Label Lounge, Las Vegas, Nevada trade show. Yo, yo, I'm kicking it live with the Soul Junkie. That's right, from San Diego. So, man, uh, you know, this has been really interesting because, you know, you're like a, a story evolving uh, right in front of our eyes, you know. You got the sneak, sneak, sneak paint thing going on, man, you know, and, uh, you know, the people just been, like, super rushing over here to see your product, man. How you feeling about that? I'm actually overwhelmed. I'm actually, it's been a real good turnout, positive feedback, and um, just happy to be here, honestly. It's almost been an honor and a pleasure at the same time. Tell us a little bit about your story because I know a little bit about your background. You know, you're a family man, yeah. you know, you're focused, you go GB boy, you know, trying to keep it real. You know, what inspires you, man? Uh, inspiration is basically urban, uh, Latin heritage, and a uh, good sense of color, man. You know, it's interesting you mentioned color because that was my next question. Like, you know, uh, how do you approach, like, your color characters? Like, when you when you get ready to paint a shoe, what do you, how do you see it? And then the colors, how do you pick them? Um, I always like to pick um, colors that kind of like balance each other, uh, push and pull as they would say in art. Nice doing like a bunch of warm tones and throwing a real cold one on there just, just to make it pop. You know, um, uh, the shoes for me are showpieces, kind of a little bit more expression of self-identity. So therefore, you know, you want to be noticed. Nobody wants to be average, man. Well then talk to me about like the style that you're trying to create as far as you making your niche in this market. It's more of a be proud of who you are, rock something that means something to you, and uh, don't be afraid to think outside the box. If that have any word or any quote that could be that, think outside the box. In, in fashion style and in just in culture in general, I think uh, we'd all get along better if we could just bend the rules a little bit. Now talk to me about the culture. Talk to me about the sneaker culture and like some of the events and some of the battles you've been in. Yeah, um, well I've only attended a few um, down in LA. But some of the new ones I'll be attending to in the sneaker battles and the tournaments and competitions uh, will be spread out throughout the country. Um, Hooker Paint will be providing that, that leeway. Um, the sneaker culture has been big. It's been down since like I think the late 70s. People have been writing on their shoes and putting some color on it. And then um, I think I'm just bringing it up to a new notch, man. Putting like some real good artwork on it. Some people that, something that you can uh, kind of familiarize yourself with and then uh, feel good about. But um, the sneak culture's been strong. A lot of people did simple colorways to start off with. Um, like Bobito Garcia was probably one of the, the biggest names in the sneaker culture. He wrote a book, he got a show on it, and I, I was blessed to do his shoes. And um, I gotta give him props, because in one of our conversations, he went from an old king to a new king. And to get that type of uh, feedback from him, it's awesome, man. So. In, in case you guys don't know about Bobito, we're going to talk a little bit about Bobito because, uh, you know, this, this, gets, this gets back all the way back to the yard, man. Let's talk about B Bobito a little bit. How did you connect with Bobito? Man, same way I connected with a lot of people, and I know you won't believe it, MySpace. This all started off, I'll give you a quick, quick history. The fine arts background has been there. I work for Corporate America. One day I came home, I was just chilling. Sun was jumping on the bed, fell out of bed landed on my head. Turns out he popped out two discs in my neck and I couldn't lift my head off my chest for a month. In my downtime, uh, my brothers were in New York. I'm originally from the BX. My brother's like, yo, some guys are making some change out here, painting on sneakers with airbrushes. Why don't you try, you know, to make some money while you're down, you know, because you're not working. So I, you know, dipped and dabbled and I couldn't find nothing good. Kind of mixed my own formula for a little bit and then I found, you know, the hook of paints. And then I really started going at it. And then he's like, yo, show me what you did. So I'm like, how? MySpace. Put it on MySpace and I put it on there, man. It was like a bulletin to the world. And it's been love since. And, and uh, because of that, I, that little, my son jumping on my head, I'm here with you now. Where's Hookup Paints and where's, where's Soul Junkie going from here? Well, personally and, and humbly, I would, love, I would love to be respected, first of all and then be the number one shoe painter. But, but as far as projection with Hooker Paint, I, I want it to be number one. Um, I think their success is my success. And also um, maybe designs and eventually come out with t-shirts and my own shoe. Sooner or later, I want to have my own shoe. 
So listen, man, thank you very much. We really appreciate having you here, and congratulations and good luck in the future. Thank you, brother. And um, I just want to give a mad thank you to Label Networks for putting me on and helping me get this far. Thank you. That's right, it's your boy AJ once again kicking it with the Soul Junkie here live at the Label Lounge. Represent your hookups, and let's hook up and paint them. Well,